Uh, do not be alarmed. I know it looks as though James Bay's Land Cruiser has been put through a face swap app, but it hasn't. I've actually swapped it temporarily for a Daihatsu Move, and a Daihatsu Move is a K Jidosha, a K car. This piece of Tupperware on wheels is a byproduct of a post war government initiative, encouraging the manufacture of cars that are cheap, can fit into tiny urban parking slots, and most importantly, look silly. Although the K car is rooted in pragmatism and economy and everything else that characterized post war Japan, it was inevitable that eventually somebody would say, Well, what if we race them? Well, what if we do? Let's find out. Feel that go. And through the magic of editing, I'm at Suzuka, the home of Japanese F1 racing. But don't expect to see any of your Rosbergs or Raikkonens today. This is far more specialist. Remember that many greats have raced here, admittedly not in a car like this, but hold on to your handbrakes. It's the Honda K Jidosha N1 Single Make Owners' Cup Championship. As the old Beastland Cruiser struggles to stay on the circuit. Look at that. It's fantastic. Now, if I could just slip into my other TV job for a moment, I'm here to tell you that good though Honda's NSX supercar is, the N1 puts the K in OK. There you go, you only need 660cc to campaign one of the world's great race circuits. Hang on a minute, I think I just spotted something on the track back there that besmirches Japan's famed fastidiousness. I think I might have a job. Look. Rubber. This is one of the most beautifully designed, best equipped race circuits in the world but you're expected to sweep the whole thing with something from bed knobs and broomsticks. It is just a load of twigs. Hey, Ben, guess what? There's another 3.2 miles to go. Now, while I finish up here, I should probably explain about the race, and it really doesn't get more even than this. Same Honda N1. Same maximum speed of 97 miles an hour. The only difference is the skill of the drivers and how much they had for breakfast. While the teams get their pre-race zen on, I'm given another job, relaying this electric atmosphere to the wider world as Suzuka's newest reporter. This is something you simply won't see outside of Japan because the cars simply don't exist outside of Japan. Each one is raced by an enthusiastic amateur owner. The unmodified engine develops a neck-snapping 63 horsepower. Get ready for some proper wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing action. It's time for Suzuka's newest reporter to hit the grid to interview all of today's 48 K-Car competitors. Oh, hello. That's a rather nice Yoshimura Suzuki Motel GSXR 1000. I mean, I've watched countless videos on YouTube. I've even got a poster in my garage. But never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be able to. Time to get back down to the grid to interview one of today's K car competitors. Konnichiwa. Do you speak any English? A little, excellent. How do you rate your chances today? Yeah, uh, I, I try to start. So I'm going to win. Okay. <laughs> well, well, very good luck. I'll be looking out for you. Don't forget to shut the window.